This is the bit before the main show starts. There's supposed to be some hook or level of intrigue. Hello players, welcome to Sexy Tech, I'm your tech dresser, Buzz Stringer. Come on in, relax, have a dance. Put those knives down, Brittany. That's not how we cut shapes here. We, we, we don't want a piece of you. But Epic Games is taking the piece. It says, wink suggestively. Oh, because we didn't actually say piss. That's pretty fucking clever. <laughs> Epic Games, the mastermind behind Fortnite, is apparently not having such a victory royale moment. They're laying off a whopping 16% of their workforce. That's around 830 employees. But here's where it gets a little bit spicy. Tim Teeny Weeny Sweeney didn't drop a single sorry for the 830 people getting the boot. Instead, he blamed it on an unrealistic, on his unrealistic optimism. Weenie said the layoffs are a result of the company spending way more money than we can earn. And such spending not resulting in layoffs was unrealistic. Perhaps if you didn't give away millions of copies of AAA games for free just to scare Steam, you might have had enough money to pay those 830 people. Just, just a different way of thinking. Maybe that's why I'm not a teeny weeny billionaire in an LA mansion dancing like Carlton. I look forward to your comments. Well, Tim, maybe next time you can trade some of that optimism for a calculator. Remember when Apple decided to go all bling bling with their 17,000 gold Apple Watch? Well, now it turns out it's as obsolete as my 90s mixtape collection. Yeah, that's, that's saying something. The Golden Wonder has now been given the cold shoulder by Apple and no more software updates, no more hardware support. It's Apple's way of saying, thanks for the cash now deal with it. Apple has now internally listed all first-gen Apple Watches, including the solid gold one, as obsolete. Apple's former lead designer Johnny Ives had a soft spot for the golden child, so he said it was a, Apple's ticket to the luxury watch club, but like that one guy who wears sneakers to a black tie event, Apple kind of missed the mark. Me. That's me. I'm that guy with the sneakers. Now, if you're one of those high rollers who splurge on the Watch of the Covenant, you're probably thinking, no worries, I'll just, I'll get it repaired. Well, think again, Apple's not touching it at all. Your only hope is a third party repair shop, but Apple also seems to like shutting those down as well. On the bright side, you now have a new shiny bracelet. Maybe we should just stick to the classics. A Cartier may not have Siri, but at least it will still tell the time in a few years. That's the only reason people buy watches, right? I look forward to your comments. FCKGWRHQQ2YXRKT8TG6W2B7Q8. Those days are over. Remember when Microsoft was the Oprah of operating systems? You get an upgrade and you get an upgrade. Well, you don't get an upgrade anymore. The party's over and the bouncers kicked out Windows 7 and 8 users. Microsoft has killed the free upgrade from Windows 7 to Windows 11. That golden ticket from Windows 7 or 8 to the new shiny Windows 11, consider it expired. Now, this free upgrade was always a little bit of a sneaky loophole because it was supposed to end in 2016, but you know, like that one guest who overstays their welcome. That's, that's me again. It lingered on. But now Microsoft has put up a big no entry sign on its device partner center website. Upgrading from 10 to 11 is still free, but FCKGW, which got us from XP to seven to 10, is now just nostalgia. But if you're clutching on to that ancient Windows 7 or 8 key, hoping to unlock the latest Windows 11 treasures, that key is about as useless as a gold Apple watch. <laughs> Ah, we're out of time. What do we, what do we miss this week? Oh yeah, the, the Blizzard Microsoft deal might actually go through soon if they get approval from the FTC. Luckily, Blizzard hasn't gone cold yet and Microsoft are weathering the storm. The FTC's pushback might give Microsoft a more frosty reception than anticipated. I mean, it's still unknown if they'll warm up to the idea or if they'll remain icy. After that avalanche of bad puns, I'll say stay sexy and be excellent to each other. I had an unknown number call me, and when I answered, I said, who's speaking, please? And a voice said, you are. Bye! Which got us from XP to 7 to 10 is now just a burp. Stay hydrated, motherfucker!